So now uh, we will move to consumption because production obviously is very well, uh, very much connected to the consumption behavior and we've already talked about it uh, concerning packaging. But another topic, uh, another sector where we could uh, waste plus is clothing or textiles as uh, such. And Mikulaj Hurta, CEO at uh, Melmore, will show us limits of sustainable fashion. Mikulaj, the stage is yours. And I'm very much interested in uh, hearing how it is with sustainability of textile when we now buy a sustainable blazer or dress. You say it's not really sustainable as such. So tell us what we should do to be really sustainable. Hello, everybody. My name is uh, Mikulaj Verta. I'm CEO of Neilmore, the world's first circular clothing brand. And uh, I would like to welcome uh, you uh, on this presentation on, on topic uh, uh, which is called sustainable fashion is not enough anymore. At the moment, uh, there is uh, every second, there is uh, three million liters of water consumed uh, due to production of the clothing. There is 38,000 kgs of CO2 uh, emissions uh, uh, released to the environment uh, due to production of the clothing. And there is also about uh, 10,000 pieces of garments uh, ended on landfill every second. Uh, that's, that's the current state of, uh, of the impacts of clothing industry. And if we would like to really face uh, global issues as uh, global warming, or um, biodiversity loss or water scarcity, uh, it's conditioned by change of the textile industry. Uh, at the moment, we are somewhere here. Yeah? On the vertical line, you can see the state of our planet and on the horizontal one, you can see the time. So by, by some time, uh, we uh, really uh, damage our planet by conventional production, not only in the fashion, but also in the other industries. And what's happening in fashion now? It's something like this. Yeah? We are calling a lot of products as sustainable, but it's just slowing down uh, the decreasing uh, of, of the damage. And where we need uh, to be at the moment is somewhere here. Yeah, and that's, that's the sustainability. But the second question is, uh, do, is, is it our goal? Do we want to just uh, be sustainable with uh, some very low state of uh, our environment? Or do we want to do something like this? Uh, so now it's the right time to speak about the sustainability and uh, also speak about some regenerative, uh, regenerative trend in the fashion. Uh, the regenerative trend at the moment is presented by the circularity, but the, because the full circularity could bring new level uh, of the regeneration of our environment. At the moment, there is a uh, climate friendly, ecological, green, sustainable, bio, eco friendly, etc. etc. The question which we should uh, take is uh, what does it mean? What is the sustainability? Uh, on this slide, we can see three products. Yeah? And if we know, for example, the carbon footprint of these products, let's say four cages for the chair, three cages uh, of the CO2 for laptop, seven cages for the t-shirt. Uh, maybe that's the first step. The second question is, uh, is it sustainable or not? Maybe the answer can be that four cages for chair can be sustainable in some way, but maybe three cages of uh, CO2 emissions for laptop, maybe that's not sustainable. Yeah. And that's the question which, uh, which we should take, which we should ask ourselves in the companies and measure them and then be sure that we are really uh, make things in the uh, good way, in the good manner. So uh, uh, the sustainability, the most important uh, three aspects should be uh, the sustainability 
that it should be measurable. Yeah, the most complex uh, methodic of measuring of sustainability is life cycle assessment, uh, LCA. For example, in fashion, there is also a HIC index and some other indexes. So it's, uh, it's very important to work uh, with, with these data and measure it. The second thing is that it should be science-based because uh, at the moment already we can see a couple of LCA studies uh, which are not in cooperation with universities and so on and um, are not uh, so exact as should be. So uh, science based in the sustainability is very important, the connection with university, with experts and so on. And the last thing, it's transparency and simply communication to customers. Um, it's, it's much easier just to make a green label, put it on the t-shirt and that's it. Uh, I agree from marketing point of view, it, it works and it's easier. Uh, but now we should, uh, we should look for ways how to communicate uh, this, let's say, exact data, so which are not so friendly for customers in some simpler way, uh, which is understandable for them. Uh, so uh, it was about sustainability. Now the very similar situation is with circularity. Yeah? We, we can see claims as uh, reused, recyclable, uh, circularity, circular economy, waste-free and so on. Uh, again, the question is, uh, what is what is the circularity? Because, uh, okay, everybody, uh, we understand that we have some linear economy system. Uh, in the fashion, it's, um, it's mainly the fast fashion system. And we have uh, some source which ended uh, in the waste. Uh, and then we have the recycling loop, let's say. Uh, it depends how many recycling loops we have. But for example, there is, uh, I don't know, old t-shirts and we make uh, clothes in the, for the industrial cleaning and so on. And we are calling it circularity. It's not circularity, it's just one recycling loop. And again, there is waste created. So a, a, lot, of, uh, a lot of models of sustainable fashion at the moment are just some, some recycling loops, some upcycling, downcycling, uh, it depends. Uh, if we want to really switch to the regenerative fashion, yeah, to the circular fashion, uh, it's necessary to find models which are really circular. It means that we put the material in the system once and just keep it uh, in the system again and again. Uh, there are already uh, there are already some uh, models like this uh, in the fashion. Uh, it's, for example, uh, Econil uh, from Aquafello company. It's uh, circular nylon. Uh, anyway, the nylon application in fashion, it's, uh, it's more for swimwear or uh, now they are mainly focusing on the carpets and so on. Uh, in other words, uh, we are still searching for some material which uh, really can be circular in the, in the clothing system. So very important for circularity is the closed loop. Uh, then uh, we need to be very transparent that recycled, downcycled or upcycled is not circular and uh, we should communicate it very clearly. And also circularity means that there is no waste and no, no waste in the end and no source in the beginning. Uh, so we made, we made also uh, at the Nilmore, we made uh, some uh, research and uh, we found out that 70% of the customers uh, are aware about, uh, about the issues of the fashion industry and want to support the change. 75 of them uh, miss sustainable products or information about them, uh, about them on the market. And almost all of them don't want to reduce their consumption, which is, which is a very problematic area because uh, most of the sustainable concepts at the moment uh, aiming uh, or Creating, um, creating pressure to customers to reduce the consumption because uh, their, uh, their models are not circular and consumptive new and new sources. Uh, so now I will just quickly speak uh, how we approach it at the Nilmore. We have created a fully circular clothing. It means that after the wearing, you can return it to us and we 100 
percent of the clothing will recycle into and produce from the uh, from the recycling uh, new products. Uh, to achieve it, it was necessary to develop new textile material because uh, with the material like uh, linen or cotton, uh, unfortunately, it's not possible. You can recycle them, but you can add just 20% of the recyclate to the new source, you know, because the properties of the recyclate is, uh, is very bad. Uh, on polyester, for example, it's um, it's very difficult because um, I don't know want to into into the details into the chemistry, but from the chemistry point of view, there are a lot of projects on the world which uh, try to recycle polyester clothing, but it's still in development and it's very hard for energy consumption and so on. Uh, therefore, uh, we focused uh, on a new material. Uh, it's it's PLA. PLA is well known in uh, under other industries. And it was, um, from an ecological point of view, it was promoted as biodegradable and so on. Uh, but the biggest potential, ecological potential of this material and it's, uh, is in its circularity, in its recycling. Because its recycling uh, is very easy. It's the only biopolymer uh, which breaks down on the, uh, to the homogenic molecule. So the recycling is... Uh, is uh, much easier than, for example, on the other types of the material. Um, on this table, we have uh, we have some uh, properties, some feature of our material. Uh, I, I, it's fully circular. We have achieved the lowest LCA impact from all textile materials based on LCA study, which we done together with um, uh, with uh, University Technical University of Brno and Liberec. Uh, from the, some other properties, uh, material has very high thermal conductivity, so it's uh, comfortable in hot and uh, cold conditions because it's creating cooling or warming effect. It's very similar, for example, as uh, merino wool. You can see on the table on the right top corner that uh, our thermal conductivity is even twice better than wool. Uh, also, the material is light, soft, uh, and uh, with high moisture transport, so it uh, works with fitting very well. It's also anti-allergic and non-toxic. Here you can see uh, some pictures. For example, on the left picture, you can see uh, the red cardigan from our material, the white t-shirt from our material, and the scalability of the material is very wide, so we are able to do also some sport application. Uh, some uh, back application and also we are focusing on some technical application, for example, for, uh, for automotive industry, uh, medical industry and others. Uh, here are some pictures from uh, production. Maybe for you it could be interesting to see the recycling reactor uh, on the right. Uh, it's just the laboratory version. In the industrial version, it's very similar, just much, much bigger. Uh, based on the LCA study, uh, the water consumption for one uh, our T-shirt is uh, 50 times lower than conventional cotton T-shirt. Uh, also, the uh, CO2 footprint is 17 times lower, and <clears throat> we aim to not create any waste because uh, we are creating. We are in charge of all uh, of a whole circular concept. I will explain here. Um, we are creating uh, the first possibility for the customers is send uh, the used clothes to us by free. The second possibility uh, is we are creating the physical points. It's called near more circular points. At the moment, we have about uh, 12 these points in the Czech Republic and uh, Slovak Republic. And we aim to have it 50 uh, by the end of this year. And then we would like to extend this net as much as possible. Uh, it's also also marketing tool for the uh, for the stores for, because the Nilmore circular points are mainly, for example, stores with sustainable fashion, and for them it's very nice uh, that uh, uh, some other customers of other brands visit their stores to return uh, the clothing from our material. So uh, it, it's possible to work it also on the marketing level with this. Uh, okay, some of our partners, I've already mentioned uh, the uh, Bern University of the Technology and Technical University of Liberec, and we are also in joint venture with Frusak company. Uh, 
just a little bit about our journey. Uh, we have started our journey in 2018 and we spent first year uh, by R&D activities. The last year we have created uh, prototypes and validated them and we have already uh, done the launch on the B2B market. So at the moment we have uh, we are already offering our solution for other brands. We are able to uh, make uh, make fabrics or make uh, final garments for the other brands. Uh, so we are generating the first incomes. And at the moment we are a uh, couple of months before a launch of our own collection and uh, and other expansion. Uh, just the last words about this slide. I think that it's very important to be still uh, in a journey and yeah? not be satisfied where we are now and still look to the future to do it better how to uh, how to improve it uh, still be focused on the on the research and development so we are still doing a lot of um, activities with the universities in the scalability in the for example now we are 50 times better in the water consumption we would like to be uh, much better because we see, for example, potential in the dying without water and uh, projects like this. So I think it's it's very important to uh, not be satisfied uh, never with the current status, but be still in, in some journey to be better uh, day by day. Okay, uh, that's, that's all from my side. At the moment, we are already running the social medias uh, profile. So if you want to check it uh, in more deeper. Uh, for example, you can check it on our Instagram. Uh, we are uh, taking there all the, uh, all the issues step by step. There is also the first description is in Czech, but in the bottom uh, you can uh, find always also in the English. Uh, so yeah, that's it. That's it from my side. I will be glad uh, if there is any question or something. Thank yeah. you. Nicolas, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And there's a question because you said no source, but there has to be something at the beginning. What? Uh, so, sorry, you, can you repeat? You said no source, no waste, but there has to be something at the beginning. What is the something yes. at the beginning? Yes, That's true. Always the circularity starts that you need to pump the material into the system, and then you can keep it there. Um, in case of our material, uh, our material, uh, the PLA is usually made from renewable sources as corn or sugar crane. So in the beginning, uh, you, you need to pump, uh, pump it there. But uh, for example, recycling of the PLA is already working, for example, on the foils and other products out of the textile industry. So we have we now at the moment we are already uh, making uh, making the products for from the recyclate. But anyway, for, for the first uh, trials and so on, uh, it, it was necessary to use the standard source and then just keep it in the system. Uh, sorry to ask, but how uh, stable or how durable uh, is a sugar cane or corn uh, when it comes to cold that you have to wash? Sometimes you are outside in the rain and so on. Yeah, the durability is even better than cotton. Uh, so at the, at the moment we have uh, tested our fabrics for um, 50 washing cycles, for example, without any change of the quality. You can uh, wash it in the normal conditions in the washing machine uh, on 40 degrees. Uh, so even, for example, the drying properties, um, are, it dries much faster. Uh, three times faster than cotton. Uh, I think that twice faster than polyester, for example. So also this, like say, environmental aspect that it's not needed to put it into a drying machine. You can just uh, pull it uh, over the line and uh, and it can dries very fast. So uh, from the maintenance point of view, it's uh, it's uh, very customer friendly. Let's say. <laughs> You've already mentioned what Charlotte and Anna were saying here at the beginning. A serious approach to the waste problem should ideally involve redefining the way we design, distribute, and consume products. How we need to change all this when it comes to fashion? Uh, is my understanding where that you are asking for the for the design, right? Uh, well, it needs the the holistic approach. 
approach, uh, not only how we produce it, but also how we use, uh, how we, um, yeah, the, the whole product, how we distribute. So really the whole cycle of the product. Uh, is it any special? You mentioned you are uh, creating the collecting points yeah. for the clothes. That's one point that makes it really different uh, from the other uh, fashion shop. <laughs> yeah, I think that this is very important because at the moment, um it it needs to start from the brands yeah as as uh, we are in charge of a whole the cycle and um anyway uh the other brands uh, we we need to do it like this we need to build the system from the bottom yeah uh, once uh, now there is some new model who is in charge of the whole system then it will be a another brand another brand and if we if we will be in charge of the collecting and all these activities leading to the circularity then it's possible for example outsource some of these activities to some for example waste collecting companies yeah uh, because then the amount will be reasonable for them and all, also the collecting systems and everything will be already in place so from economical point of view, it will be okay for them, for example, put bins in the streets and collect uh, the textile and um, work with textile in, in some form. But it has to begin from the brands. Thank you, Mikolai. So sustainable is not enough. We have to be able to create a closed loop, but no waste, no source customers. Uh, want to change but don't want to reduce their consumption that means that uh, there's this opportunity for Mikolas Horta with no more is uh, changing the opportunity into reality so thank you and mm -hmm. good luck with everything you're doing um, responsible production and consumption can be reality just a will has to come in place that's what we've uh, heard uh, and the innovations in personal belief and cooperation are necessary. We have to become conscious con consumers and producers have to rethink the way they design things. That's uh, when that all is done, it nicely fits all together and uh, makes our world better, hopefully. Thank you for being with us. Um, thank you for uh, asking and I'm um, looking forward to meet at another sustainable business and circle economy discussion. Have a nice day.